feelings about Superman joining the show or something else? Like just an idea that Superman. Is My right. feelings, personally. Your feelings? Yeah. I think it's great. I was super surprised, you know, because it, it was very sort of against that. But I think it's a testament to the show and to to how uh, solid we have established a Supergirl character that they feel like they can bring in Superman and it won't detract from her. Um, as, as far as Wynn's concerned, he's all about it. I mean, he loves... I mean, if there was one man that Wynn would, Wynn would uh, turn for, it'd probably be Superman. <laughs> so, just saying. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not, not teasing anything. But, like, that's, that's how much he loves Superman. So. It's really a fun, fun dynamic that we get to have together. So, with Wynn's father being a villain, uh, what other DC villains would you like to see on the show? Oh God! You know, there's so many to choose from. Um, you know, I'm a huge, I'm a huge Batman fan, so I love. I would love to kind of be able to take some of those, uh, those, uh, those people from that from that world. Um, I don't know how that works, but <laughs> but uh, it, there's there's just a, a plethora. I mean, we're gonna see a lot of um, stuff with Project Cadmus, which we tease a lot of. So you can sort of imagine some of those guys from that world, um, from the comics that will be coming into it, or hopefully, I know a couple, but I can't say. So, so what are we going to see from Wynn in Season 2? Well, you know, Wynn did a lot of growing up in Season 1. We first met him, he was very shy, very reserved, kind of quiet, unassuming, probably not, like, not confident. Throughout the season, you know, a lot of stuff happened. Stuff with Kara, stuff with his dad, you know, saving the world, you know, just getting choked out while also destroying a computer virus. It's like, he's, he's gained a lot of confidence, and uh, I don't think that he is, uh, is suited to be an IT tech at Patco much longer, so he's going to find himself somewhere where he's much more, uh, much more able to use his full... You know, skill set. So I think that's going to be amazing for him. And uh, he's, he's I, I've, I've read a few scripts, and he's, he's, he's gained a lot of confidence. He's able to kind of talk to people and kind of stand up for things that he, you know, cares for. And uh, he's less, he's certainly less shy. So uh, I, I'm excited to see how that goes. And I don't know about any relationship or anything down the way, but um, I also get to have more scenes with the rest of the cast today. Uh, more stuff with like Dave and Kyler, which I'm really excited about. Stuff, a lot of stuff with Superman, which I'm very really excited about. So um, it'll be fun to kind of explore new dynamics and new characters that we all have already grown to love. Sarah said that you know, the new Dan Hoover is actually seeing, maybe allowing the show to be bigger than it was on CBS. Really? Because of that all the time. Well, the question is, have you noticed in the scripts that things have gotten a little more ambitious than they did in the first season? Well, I mean, we have three flying people now uh, as our heroes, so I mean, that's ambitious in itself. I mean, there's certainly a lot of action written into the scripts so far, so uh, I mean, the show's always been super ambitious for a television show um, and uh, we'll see how far it goes but if she says that I can't imagine that it's not true I mean, she knows more than I do did she tell you guys anything cool? Yeah. Uh, they're waiting they're waiting for like the big you know, he'd probably say something yeah. on the panel uh, when the show started Wynn was kind of chasing Kara around yeah. and by the end of it it seemed like they had almost started going their different ways. Yeah. What can you say about the relationship between the two of them? Well, I think it's, I think it's complicated, you know. Uh, you know, they, they took a couple of episodes to kind of become friends again, and uh, and I think they are really great, true friends, but uh, they never really dealt with what happened between them. They never really talked about it. I mean, all the last thing they really said was the confession, and after that they're like, you know what, we'll, we'll be friends. But it was never dealt with. And I, I can't imagine that it's just, you know, faded into oblivion. Especially with the whole James thing happening. It's like, how's that going to be for him to have to see?